Teething can be really difficult for both you and your baby. And when it comes to teething, all babies are different, but your baby will probably get their first tooth sometime during the first year. In this video, I'll take you through some common signs and symptoms that might indicate your baby's teething, the common order in which teeth first appear, and finally, I'll give you some of my top tips for managing your teething baby. So first of all, what are the symptoms and signs of teething? Well, some babies are born with their first teeth, whereas others start teething before they're four months old and some after 12 months. But most commonly, babies start teething at around six months. Some common symptoms of teething include that their gum is sore and red where the tooth is coming through. They have a mild temperature of less than 38 degrees C. They have one flushed cheek. They may also have a rash on their face. They could be rubbing their ear. They could be dribbling more than usual or gnawing or chewing on things a lot, or they could be more fretful than usual or not sleeping very well. Now, while seeing your baby going through this can be unsettling and no one likes to see their baby in discomfort, teething is totally normal. However, I always say that you know your baby best, so it's always safest to get medical advice if they have any symptoms that are causing you concern. In terms of the order in which baby's teeth usually emerge, typically the first teeth to come through are the bottom incisors or the bottom front teeth. These typically come through around five to seven months. This is normally followed by the top incisors, so the top front teeth. These tend to come through at around month six to eight. On the other hand, the first molars, so the back teeth, normally come through around 12 to 16 months. But there is no hard and fast rule as to when and which teeth appear first because every child is different. Generally speaking, most children will have all of their milk teeth by the time they're two or three years old. Finally, let's cover some ways that you can help make this process a little bit more comfortable for both you and your baby. So the first thing I would suggest are teething rings, which give your baby something to chew safely. These can help ease their discomfort and distract them from any pain. Now, some teething rings can be cooled first in the fridge, and this may help soothe your baby's gums, and the instructions that come with the ring should tell you how long to chill it for. But it's really important never to put a teething ring in the freezer because it could damage your baby's gums if it gets frozen or cracks. Also, you should never tie a teething ring around your baby's neck because this could be a choking hazard. Now, there are lots of teething toys and rings available on the market. So when choosing one, you might need to try a few to see which your baby prefers. I'd also ask if you've got any personal suggestions for teething rings that your baby's enjoyed please share them in the comments section because I think this will really help other mums, dads, and carers. Now, one of the signs that your baby is teething is that they start to chew on their fingers, toys, or other objects that they can get hold of. So if your baby is six months or older, you could consider giving them healthy things to chew on, things like raw fruit and vegetables. Soft fruit like melon can also soothe the gums. You could also try giving your baby a crust of bread, but always watch your baby when they're eating in case they choke. Now, another thing to mention that it's best to avoid rusks because nearly all brands contain some sugar. Now, the third option to discuss are teething gels. Now, I know these are popular in the US, but there's a lack of evidence that teething gels are effective. And it's for this reason that I'd recommend you try non-medicated options like a teething ring first. Now, if you do decide to go ahead and use a gel, make sure you use a teething gel that has been specially designed for young children because general oral pain relief gels are not suitable for babies and young children. If you do decide to choose this option, please do consider speaking to your pharmacist first. Now, the fourth option to discuss is that if your baby is in pain, you might want to consider giving them a simple painkilling medication. Paracetamol or ibuprofen can be given to relieve teething symptoms in babies and young children aged three months or older, but it's important to remember that children under 16 should never have aspirin and always follow the instructions that come with the medicine. If you're not sure, speak to your pharmacist or health provider first. Now, something that might sound very obvious and simple is comforting or playing with your baby, and that can distract them from any pain in their gums. Gently rubbing their gums with a clean finger may also help, and I found this to work really well in the past. I also sometimes get a clean cloth, soak it in cold water, and put it in the freezer for two minutes, and then gently let them chew on it. Finally, if teething is making your baby dribble more than usual, gently wiping their face may help to prevent a rash. Now, once your baby's teeth 
do come through, you'll need to register your baby with a dentist. And it's recommended that you start brushing your baby's teeth with a very small amount of fluoride toothpaste as soon as their first milk tooth breaks through. Now, for more information, please do check out the links in the description box of the video, and please do share your tips to help other mums, dads, and carers who might be going through a similar situation at the moment. Thank you for watching, and until next time, bye.